You do not need to go out and waste $200 at an expensive hair salon just to get curly hair. You can do it completely at home, very, very cheap. How do I know? Because I did it, bitch. <laughs> so, a lot of you don't know, but YouTube has this tab that I can click on to see what you guys are searching on, my loyal viewers. And I was surprised to see that when I clicked it recently, a lot of you guys were searching for how to get curly hair. I had no idea curly hair was back in style and so popular at the moment. But you know how this works, you guys ask, I answer. So, 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 <laughs> so today I'm telling you exactly how you can achieve curly hair overnight with no harsh chemicals, no parabens, no phthalates that are going to do harmful damage to your hair and make you look like a dried up old witch. <laughs> this is going to be totally safe, totally healthy, totally at home and also very, very cheap in comparison to a perm. So let's get right into it. Now I did actually get a perm once. I think it turned out pretty cool. It looked like this. <laughs> But after that, maybe like a year later, I wanted to see if I could achieve it naturally. So I did. Now, I'm not going to do it in this video because I'm still waiting for this hair transplant thing to heal. Maybe once it's fully, you know, healed and stuff, then I'll try this. But I'm just going to show you how I did it back in the day, maybe three or four years ago. Wow. <laughs> four years on YouTube this has been a crazy journey. Anyways, this is what I did. You will need a few things. First, you will need to go to Sally's Beauty Supply, any beauty supply store really. They probably even have it at like Target and get a little baggie of these styling rubber bands. They're really small rubber bands about the size of a dime. And you can get a bag of like a hundred for like a dollar, maybe two dollars, super cheap. Next, you will need a brush or a comb, whatever you normally use. Anything to straighten out your hair. I think I used a comb. Either one will work. Step number two is you're gonna take a shower. I guess you don't technically have to take a shower. You can just wash your hair in a sink if you wanted. But wash your hair. You can shampoo it if you want to clean it, but most importantly, you want to apply conditioner. This is important because it helps soften up your hair, make it nice and malleable for when we actually curl it, right? Step number three, after you hop out of the shower, you're gonna towel dry your hair until it is about 50% dry, where most of the bulk of the water is out, but it still is quite damp, so that the hair strands can actually still stick together and that your hair is not just dry and unmanageable, right? Next, you want to have your comb or brush ready. I used a comb and then one at a time, you're going to separate your hair into about one inch segments. And I'm talking about one inch segment at the base of your scalp and then pull that straight. It'll be much smaller at the tip of the segment, right? I mean, it's hair. It comes together. And then comes the fun part. Step number four, you're going to simply twist the hair at the end all the way up the strand of hair so that the segment is totally twisted all the way from the base to the very tippy top. You notice in this video, the first couple segments that I did, I didn't go all the way to the end, but I figured it out along the way that you really should go all the way to the end so that even the very tip is twisted and you twist it until it actually folds over upon itself one full time. So it's twisted and then bent all the way over in a 90 degree angle. This will allow you to have enough thickness of the actual hair strand to actually tie it off with the rubber band. Just like if you have a man bun or I guess a woman bun, either way, when you actually apply the bun, you actually fold it over once and then tie it off with the hair band. Same thing applies with these little curls we're making. Step number four, you take your little hair bundle that's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it a bundle. And then you take your rubber band in the other hand, wrap it around the bundle once, twist it, and then go back over it. You might need to do it twice if the hair bundle is thin enough, then you might have to wrap it a third time. But anyways, just make sure that it has a fully tight constriction around the bundle <laughs> to hold it in place all night until the next morning, because you will be sleeping like this. Should have mentioned that at the beginning. <laughs> We're committing here. This is serious stuff. The same for the All right. Step number five, rinse and repeat as many times as it takes until however much of your hair that you want curly is fully covered in your little hair bundles. Me, I just did the top because the sides were a little too short to actually achieve the little hair bundles. But you, if you want the sides to be curly, bundle up the sides, baby. The first few bundles that you do are gonna be pretty tough. It's hard to get used to, it's hard to get the feel for, but once you do, but once you figure it out, it's pretty easy and it goes a lot faster here and then you can, you know, cover your whole head with these little bundles pretty easily. Then, simply go to bed. Or if you want to do it in the morning, you could do it in the morning and then just wait for the rest of the day. But I don't know why you do that because then you're just going to have curly hair when you go to bed. So I recommend doing it at night. You're going to go to bed and sleep with these in your hair. 
your hair should fully dry by the morning. And then this thing called time under tension will apply to your malleable hair follicles. And then when you wake up, this is the fun part. It's like Christmas morning. You just unwrap the little bundles, you pull out the rubber bands and you will see some assimilance of curly hair. <laughs> but we're not quite done yet. It will be very stiff. Um, the bundles will still be probably intact and they won't look like actual curls. So next you'll have to just take your fingers and just rake it and kind of rub it through your hair to break up those little bundles and uh, get your hair to kind of like fluff up your hair a little bit as much as it takes till you see your achieved curly hair, baby. Let's go. Wow, that sounded stupid. Let's go. <laughs> and I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it would look a lot different if I did it now. I got different. I got more hair on the sides. I don't have my platinum blonde dye in, but uh, yeah, I think it looked pretty good for a first attempt. And I am super excited to see how it turns out for you guys too. Now, obviously this is temporary. It's not going to last, you know, months, but if I remember correctly, it did last like three days until the hair was totally softened and straightened again, because I do have naturally straight hair. So it will return to its natural form eventually but it's definitely fun for a couple days and it's not a huge commitment and i would say it's definitely worth trying out if you want to just see what you look like with curly hair why the fuck not so that's pretty much it guys i don't want to waste your time and blab on try it out let me know what you think and uh hey comment perm in the comments down below if you want to see me get a perm in a couple months when my hair is totally healed let me know what you think of the video you're gonna try this out you're gonna not you're gonna subscribe yeah i think you are <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video if you haven't already subscribe and until next time peace